Mission TN. I'm Lily. I'm going to be leading your practice today. We have Lacey and Marie with us to help demo. So this practice incorporates vinyasa, where we flow through our postures, moving with our breath, with yin, where we hold our postures for an extended period of time to break down fascia, get deeper into our joints and muscles. We're going to go ahead and get started in a seated position. So I'm sitting cross-legged right now. If you would prefer, you can come into half lotus, bringing one foot on top of the opposite thigh. You can also sit in hero on the tops of the shins and knees. We're going to bring the tops of our hands onto our knees so our palms can open towards the ceiling, having a tall neutral spine. So we don't want to overextend, but just sitting lifted, shoulders relaxed away from the ears, closing the eyes, focusing on our breath. I'll let you know when to open the eyes so you guys can just settle in at home and relax. We want to keep even breathing in and out through the nose the whole class. Try to stay with us, moving with us. This practice should make you feel pretty good, energized, but also relaxed. We'll get our heart rate up some. Just a little bit longer here. Try to soften all of the muscles in your face. On our next exhale, we're going to lower our chin down to our chest so that we can start to stretch through the back of our neck and get into our spine. So just allow your head to be heavy. If you feel some tension, you can shift your head gently side to side. Most people hold a lot of tension on our shoulders, our neck, our jaw. So it's good to start there just loosening it, loosening it up before we start to practice and move more. Let's all pause with our chin down to our chest. Take another breath here. On your next inhale, start to lift the head back up so we can stack the spine. Exhaling when the head is stacked. Big inhale and fill your lungs. As you exhale, relax the head back to open up the chest and start to stretch through the front of our neck. Really lengthening the neck. Allow the head to be heavy. You're using the weight from your head to naturally pull the spine, start to open it up. Same thing, you can shift your head gently side to side if you feel some extra tension there. Let's pause, head is heavy, chest is open, one more breath. Inhale, lift the head back up, stacking the spine, exhaling at the top. We're going to inhale, fill our lungs. You're exhaling your right ear down to your right shoulder. So stretch through the left side of the neck. Try to direct your inhales there so you really lengthen. Let's keep our left shoulder away from the ear. Tucking the chin we'll into the chest, roll your head through center, bring it all the way over to the, the left shoulder. With respect to now you're directing your breath towards the that right side of the neck, lengthening the side. Our right shoulder is relaxed. Advice or criticism about the fitness and readiness of On your next inhale, start to lift the head, stacking the spine. We're exhaling at the top. We're going to do that one more time, changing direction. So let's inhale, fill the lungs. Left ear down to left shoulder first. Take another breath here, directing it towards the right side. Chin into the chest, roll the head through center, bring it to the right. I love the way One you One more breath. Down. Start to lift it up, stacking the spine, Folks exhaling at the top. We're going to take a big inhale, we'll reach our palms overhead. So you can open the eyes if you want to. Interlace when the fingers and just push the hands away from you towards the ceiling. Lengthening through the sides of the body. Hands are going to come behind us, so you're going to rotate so that your fingers are towards away from your seat. Pushing down through the palms, lift the chest, squeeze the shoulder blades, arch back, getting deeper into our spine. Allow the ribcage to open. And then start to lift the chest. So they're going to show you from the front. I'm going to show you from the side. You're going to bring your hands back in front of you. We're coming to a forward fold. Don't feel like you have to push yourself into this. So if you need to, come to your forearms. You can always keep your palms planted. When you're ready, if you're there, you can lower all the way down. So I'm just going to go ahead and keep my palms on the floor and relax my head. 
your seat bones are still towards the floor. Our heads weigh a lot, so when we relax them, we're naturally pulling our spine towards the floor, lengthening through our backs. to walk the hands back in, lifting the chest. So we're stacking our spine. Our shoulders are relaxed away from our, our ears. We're going to bring our palms onto our knees this time, working the seated cat cow. So I'm going to do it again from the side. They're going to show you what it looks like from the front. So as we inhale, your chest pushes forward, your shoulder blades pull together, you look back. As you exhale, you round through the spine. You're puffing your spine towards the wall behind you. Your shoulder blades pull apart. You're gazing towards your belly button. Two more times like that. Inhale into cow. Look up. Press your chest forward. Exhale, cat. Round through the spine. Allow the head to be heavy. One more here. Inhale into cow. Exhale, cat. Find your neutral spine. And rotate back to face, you guys. We're going to change our legs so that we keep our hips even. So whichever foot is in front or on top, let's go ahead and switch that out. We're going to bring our right hand to the floor beside us. If you feel like you have a lot of mobility in your side, try to lower all the way down onto your forearm. Our left arm is sweeping up and over. You're gazing towards your right hand to really lengthen through the left side of the body. Try to keep your left hip bone, left seat bone on the floor. And then pull that left shoulder blade back so you can shift the gaze and look past the arm towards the ceiling. Our left arm is going to sweep forward. Our right arm is coming to meet it. We're relaxing back into that forward hold. So this is the second one. So you might be able to ease your upper body a little forward, more forward towards the floor. If you start to get onto your forearms and it's feeling really good, let's try to rotate our palms towards the ceiling so that we're releasing some of that tension in the hands, allowing the fingers to relax. trying to still keep the head heavy. If you have any neck pain, you can always make a little platform so that the head doesn't come all the way towards your chin or your chest. We're gonna go ahead and walk our hands back in, lift the chest. That left hand is coming to the floor bes beside us. If you can, lower onto your forearm. Our right arm stretches up and over. Our gaze follows that left hand towards the floor. Reach the right arm over towards the left side of the room. Our right shoulder blade blade pulls back. You can shift the gaze and look past the arm towards the ceiling. We're coming back into that forward fold last time. Right arm sweeps forward. Left arm comes out to meet it. Relax down. So if you guys do this practice again, now you know that we're doing three forward folds in this warm up. So really ease into it. You do not have to force yourself down in that first one. Okay to ease in, especially if you haven't moved your body much today if you're doing this practice in the morning. Everybody takes some time to loosen up their spine. We're gonna walk our hands in, lift the chest. We're gonna get into the sides of the body a little bit more so our palms are coming back onto our knees. We're gonna shift over to the right, coming all the way forward, take it to the left and back up. Two more right side, get all the way through, try to hit the sides of the body. Last one this direction. When you come up, we're changing sides, you're going to the left. Chest comes all the way forward over to the right. Two more. Last one here. With the chest lifts, we're going to get into our first yin posture. We're coming into Baddha Konasana, bound ankle. So you're going to bring the bottoms of the feet together from this side. 
the bottoms of the feet are touching, so your knees might be up here, they might be all the way down, that's totally normal. Wherever you are, you're gonna start to walk your upper body forward, relaxing down. Same thing here that we did in those other forward folds. If your forearms are on the floor and you feel comfortable, try rotating the palms. You don't have to. Again, it just helps to release some of the tension in your fingers. So if your knees are maybe a little bit further up and you need to, you can always bring your hands behind you. Palms on the floor, keep the chest lifted, but you can again relax the head. There's always going to be a modification. Another option if something doesn't feel good. You're trying to relax your inner thighs so that they can lengthen. We're getting into the inner portion of our hip joint. These yin postures we hold for a while that we can really relax into them. So every time we come into one, I want you to find stillness as much as you can. We're still breathing, so if you feel like you're holding your breath, to back out a little bit. So sick for this lonely town. I'm gonna take a drive way down south. Take a couple more Where breaths here. See to that night when I went and crossed that line the all stuck and overdrive start to walk the hands in lift the chest so we're going to transition so that we're into a tabletop so transitioning on your mat whatever that means for you so that you can come to about the middle of our mat our palms are gonna be under our shoulders. You can have your toes tucked under or the tops of the feet on the floor. We're gonna work through cat cows, so regular cat cows this time. So as you inhale, you're looking up, your stomach goes towards the floor, your shoulder blades pull together, you look up. And then exhale, cat, round through the spine, really puff the spine towards the ceiling, shoulder blades expand. Inhale into cow, look up. Exhale, cat, round through. Let's do a couple more here. Inhale into cow. They should feel pretty good. Exhale, cat. Exaggerate these as much as you need to. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. We're doing one more. Inhale into cow. Exhale, cat. Finding our neutral spine, we're going to keep our left palm planted. Big inhale, right arm sweeps to the ceiling. Squeeze the shoulder blades, open the chest. We're threading the needle, so you thread this right arm under. Lower down into your right shoulder right here. So we're going to stay here and allow our body weight to just give into this right arm so we can massage the outside of that shoulder and arm. You're welcome to keep this left palm planted if you need some support. If you want to, you can release that arm, wrap it around your low back. You're folding your forearm to your lower spine. You can grab it. You can grab hold of your right inner thigh. Just breathe here. Close the eyes. We'll be here for a few breaths. Hips are over the knees. Let's take two more breaths on the side. We're going to start to release that left arm back to the floor if it's at your lower back. That right arm is going to sweep to the ceiling, squeeze the shoulder blades, open up. Exhale the right hand down. We're going to transition straight into that left side. So our right palm is planted. Our left arm is sweeping up. Squeeze the shoulder blades. Exhale and thread. Lower onto your left shoulder, left ear. So this time you're pushing down with that right palm. You can stay there or you can release the arm. Rotate the palm. Wrap it around. You're reaching towards your left inner thigh. So you obviously don't have to have that thigh. Just as effective to leave the forearm. Hold it on your low back is to get your body weight really relaxed so that you can massage the outside of your left arm and shoulder. Keep breathing. We want to feel good when we're practicing, so if it hurts, you need to back out a little bit.
Let's take one more breath here. Start to release that right palm back to the floor if it's at the low back. We're all gonna push down through that right palm, sweep the left arm up as you inhale, squeeze the shoulder blades, open the chest. Exhale, left hand down. We're gonna work through three more cat cows. So let's inhale into cow, look up. Exhale, cat around through. Inhale into cow. Exhale, cat. One more, inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Finding our neutral spine. We're gonna tuck our toes under if they're not there already. You're floating your knees up off the mat just a little bit so you can find those lower abdominals and inner thigh muscles. We use our core a lot in this practice just for stability. Let's take one more breath here. On your next exhale, you're pushing back to down dog. So pedal the feet right and left. You can shift your hips around a couple times. Release the backs of the legs. Everybody says forever, but it's never While they're loosening up the backs of their legs, I want to talk about our hands a little bit for down dog. So my heart is on the it can table. be a lot of pressure in your wrist if you are new to yoga, if you're new to a vinyasa practice. Think about pushing down through all the pads of your fingertips, the ball of the hand. Try to not dump into your wrist. Really think about actively pushing down through every single part of your hand. The more you do it, the easier it'll be as you gain strength in those little muscles in our hands. It can be a little bit uncomfortable at first. Try to stay with it. It'll get there. It'll start to feel really good, really comfortable. Let's take a second, push our hips up and back. You're gonna reach your tailbone towards the ceiling. Think about rotating your inner thighs towards each other. Rib cages pulled towards each other, low abs pulled in. Your heels are actively reaching towards the floor, but maybe they're not quite there yet. Maybe you need to keep a bit in the knees. Both are fine, especially at the beginning of our practice. So finding your stance, we're gonna keep our body where it is. Just rise up onto your toes with your inhale, reaching the hips towards the ceiling. Exhale and push your heels back towards the floor. Wants Inhale, rise high up. Exhale and push Nobody it back. Just getting deeper into the arches of the feet. One more time, rise high up. We're going to exhale both heels to the right corner of our mat, shifting that stretch through the outsides of our legs. On your next inhale, try. rise high up onto the toes. Come back center. Exhale, take it to the left. Both heels point to the left corner. You're stretching the outsides of the legs. Let's inhale, come back center. Exhale, the heels directly behind you. We are going to get deeper into our core. We're going to transition to some planks. If you need to, you can always lower the knees down. Let's inhale, rise high onto the toes. I want you to feel your spine. So round through your spine as much as you can. Come forward to your high plank. You can always lower the knees. Lower abdominals are pulled in. We're going to exhale, take it back to down dog. Push your hips back. Inhale, high on the toes. Round through the spine. Come forward. Belly button's pulled in. Exhale, send it back. One more time. Inhale, high on the toes. Round through the spine. Come forward. We're going to come into our first eight point. So we're going to use this as a transition to the floor. Follow along, you can watch it first if you want to. We're lowering our knees down. Your palms stay where you are, the toes stay where they are. You work to lower the chest and the chin to the floor. So for ladies, the chest might come down first. For gentlemen, it might be chin first. Your elbows are towards the ceiling. Somebody's gotta try. Let's bring the tops of feet onto the floor. We're gonna transition to space. So we're legs are on the floor, tops of feet are on the floor. We're gonna bring our forearms in front of us. The elbows are under our shoulders. Palms are extended straight out from our elbows. You're trying to relax that lower spine, looking up and back. Breathe here for just a little bit longer. Try to relax your seat. Got me in a days, but I'm afraid of when the haze disappears. the head. You can lower the chin down to the chest. I'm not thinking just straight. Take a couple hesitate. more breaths here. Let's all lower our chest down to the floor all the way. 
Oh. You're gonna bring the palms back under your shoulders. We're tucking our toes under. Your core is tight. You can lift to the knees if you need to. When you're ready, lift all the way up, high plank. And then exhale and push the hips back. Look for the hands. We're rising high up the toes. You're bending the knees. We're taking baby steps forward to the top of our mat. I want you to keep your knees bent. Keep your upper body relaxed. Grab for opposite elbows. Shift side to side and ragdoll. We're pausing in the middle. You're releasing your hands towards the floor. We're going to keep this left hand towards the floor. You're keeping your left knee bent. So I'll let them show you from the side. I'll show you from the front. Left knee stays bent. Left palm stays planted. Your right leg straightens as your right arm releases towards the ceiling. Try to get your gaze to follow. Shoulder blades pulled together. If you'd like to, you can bring your right arm around the back, reaching towards your left side. We're releasing that right arm back to the floor. Both knees bent. Right hand plants, your left arm releases as your left leg straightens. Shift the gaze to follow. You can stay here. You can wrap your left arm around the back. Try to keep your shoulder blades pulled together. We're going to release our left arm to the floor. Both knees bent. You're going to keep a bend in your knees. Think about pushing down through your heels. Chin stays into the chest. Slowly roll all the way up to standing. Head is going to lift last. All right, we're going to start to get into some of our flows. We're going to do a couple to warm up and get our heart rate lifted. They're a little bit different than if you've taken some of our other vinyasa classes. So we're going to step to the top of our mat. You're going to start with an inhale. Sweep your arms up. You're pushing your hips forward as you reach the hands back. And slowly bend the knees as you fold all the way forward. We're inhaling and lengthening so your hands can graze the floor or come to the shin. This is where we straighten our legs and straighten our spine. Let's pull our lower abs in, squeeze the shoulder blades. Exhale and fold. We're going to step both feet back to our high plank. We're going into that A point so you lower the knees down, the chin and the chest. Pop the feet on the floor. We're transitioning to cobra. So you squeeze the elbows in by your side. Shoulders are relaxed. Exhale the forehead down. We tuck our toes under. We come up to our high plank. And we send our hips back for our down dog. Take a couple of breaths here. Look for the hands. Rise onto the toes. Bend the knees. Try to do two steps. One, two to the top. Inhale and lengthen. Exhale and fold. Push down through your heels. Big inhale. Reverse swan dive. Baby back bend. Swan dive forward. Bend the knees. Inhale and lengthen. We're going to exhale our hands to the floor. Our right foot only is stepping back. You lower the right knee. We're going to keep our left knee over our left shin. You're going to lift your chest. Arms are going to come up. Squeeze the shoulder blades. Arch back. Cactus arms. Inhale, reach it up. We're exhaling our hands to the floor. Your left leg is sweeping back, three-legged dog. So right toes tuck under, right knee lifts. Left leg goes up and back. Exhale, the left leg down to meet the right. Take a breath and down dog. We're going to rise onto the toes. Shift your weight forward, high plank. You're coming into that A point, so we lower the knees down. The palms and the toes are already there. Your chin and your chest comes down. So her hips are up. Her elbows are up. Tops of feet go onto the floor. She moves into cobra. Elbows are squeezed in by her side. Shoulder blades pulled together. Then take a breath. Exhale. The forehead goes down. Palms stay where they are. They tuck their toes back under. Core is tight. Lift up. High plank. Exhale it back. Down dog. Take a breath. Their hips are up and back. Inner thighs are rolled. They're reaching their heels to the floor. So see how she had a little bit of space. That's totally fine. She can bend her knees a little bit if she needs to. Over time, the more you loosen up the hamstrings back to the leg, you can straighten the legs. You can push your heels down. So this time, we're going to sweep our right leg up, three-legged dog. You're reaching your leg towards the ceiling. Your right foot is going to step forward. 
Lower the left knee down. So this time our right knee is over our right ankle. So chest lifts, arms lift. Low lunge, squeeze the shoulder blades, arch back, cactus arms. Inhale it up. Exhale the hands to the floor. Our left foot steps up to meet the right. We inhale and lengthen, squeeze the shoulder blades. Exhale and hold, bend the knees, reverse swan dive, come all the way up. Baby back bend, swan dive forward. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, hands to the floor. Our left foot is going to step back first this time. Lower the knee. Arms come up. Squeeze the shoulder blades, cactus arms, arch back. Inhale it up. Exhale, the hands to the floor. Right leg goes back, three-legged dog. Right leg lower. Take a breath. Shift your weight forward. Palms are where they are. Toes stay tucked under. Lower the knees, the chin, and the chest. Tops of feet come onto the floor. Your palms stay where they are. You lift up for cobra. Forehead goes down. Our toes tuck under. Core is tight. Lift up. You can always do knees. Exhale back down dog. This time our left leg sweeps. The left leg is forward. Plant the foot, lower the right knee. Arms come up. Squeeze the shoulder blades, cactus arm. Inhale it up. Exhale the hands to the floor, right foot comes to meet the left. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. All the way up. Reach back. Swan dive forward. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale the hands to the floor. Our right foot is going to step back again. Let's bend the knee. Sweep the arms. This time we're going to keep our arms straight. Take a back bend. And then exhale the hands back to the floor. We're going to stay here. So this left knee is over our shin. So we don't want this. Definitely not this. Try to find one straight line. You can look all the way down the shin. Our hips are heavy towards the floor. So we're getting into our right hip flexor. Take another breath here. Your right toes can be tucked under or the top of the foot is on the floor, whatever feels better. We're gonna shift our weight back so that our hips are over our knee, that right knee. Straightening out this left leg, adjust as you need to. Try to flex the left foot. If you feel good, maybe you round the forehead towards the knee. If you wanna take it a little deeper, start to walk your hands back forward. Deep into the back of the leg. If you need to back out, maybe you lift the chest, bring your hands to your hips. We're gonna work through those two postures, combining them together. So if you're lifted, you're gonna keep your hands on your hips, your left foot goes back to the floor, you shift your hips forward. If you feel good, you lower your hands to the floor. As you exhale, you're walking your body back. Let's inhale, shift forward. Exhale, shift it back. One more, shift forward. Exhale, shift it back, stay there. Working through cat cows here. So your hands are going to come to about the middle of the mat. If you need to, you can always keep your hands on your hips, and it's going to be a little bit different, but that's totally fine. So as you inhale, you're pushing your chest forward, arching your upper body back. Exhale, round through the spine, chin goes into the chest. Inhale into cow, look up. Exhale, cat, round through. One more, inhale into cow. Exhale, cat. Find your neutral spine. We're all going to shift our weight forward. Our right hand is coming to the floor in line with your left foot. Your right toes are tucked under. Your right knee lifts. Squeeze the inner thighs really tight. Reach the left arm to the ceiling. So I don't want you to overextend. I want you to think about trying to touch the ceiling right above your shoulder. We're going to bring that left hand back to the floor. Your left foot is stepping back. We take our flow, so you lower the knees, the chin, and the chest. Tops the feet are on the floor as you come up for cobra. Forehead goes down. Toes tuck under, come up. Sit in it back. Take a breath. We're going to inhale our right leg up. Right leg is coming forward. Your left knee lowers down. So we're starting with that other side now. So same thing here, that right knee is over your right shin. That knee's not past. We're trying to open up this left hip flexor. You can always bring your hands up to your thighs. 
lift the chest, hands to hips. One more breath here. Start to transition it back. So straightening out that right leg as much as you can. Hips are pretty much stacked over our left knee. If you want to, you can start to pull the knee to forehead, or you can walk your hands all the way out. If you need to, back out, hands to hips, lift the chest. We're gonna take one more breath here and then start to combine those two together, moving with our breath. So let's go ahead, we're gonna shift that weight forward, plant your right foot, hips are heavy, send it back as you exhale. Inhale, shift it forward. Exhale, shift it back. One more, shift it forward. Exhale, send it back. Stay where you are, so we're working through the cat cows. You guys have that variation if you need to stay lifted, you're just moving your upper body. If you're doing it closer towards your leg, your hands are planted where you need them to be. You push your stomach towards the thigh, you look up. Exhale, cow, look towards the belly button. Inhale into cow. Exhale, cow. One more, inhale, cow. Exhale, cow. Find your neutral spine. Take a second. We're gonna shift our weight forward, plant that right foot. Your left hand comes in alignment with your right foot. You tuck your left toes under, lift the knee. Squeeze the inner thighs tight, reach the right arm to the ceiling. Gaze follow. Right hand replaces where that right foot is. Your right foot goes back. You lower eight point knees, chin chest. Tops the feet on the floor, lift up for cobra. Exhale the forehead down. Toes tucked under, come up. Send it back, down dog. Let's look for our hands. Rise onto the toes, bend the knees. Two steps, one, two. Lengthen. Exhale, fold. All the way up, reverse swan dive. Reach back, swan dive forward. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, the hands plant. You're gonna step both feet all the way back, high plank. Go straight into your eight point. So you're lowering your knees, your chin and your chest. Hands stay where they are, shift to cobra, tops of feet are on the floor. Exhale, the forehead down. Toes tuck back under, come up, core tight. Send it back, down dog, take a couple breaths. They're still pushing their hips up and back. They're still reaching their heels towards the floor. Not jumping into their shoulders. Necks are relaxed and neutral. We're gonna break down that right leg, three-legged dog a little more. So you're gonna sweep your right leg up. Think about reaching from the back of the leg. So the more you can really reach it up, you wanna try to not bend that knee. So bend the knee for a second. We're trying to avoid this. So even if that means your leg is lower, but your leg is straight, keep it there. Then over time, you're gonna reach it all the way up. We're gonna come into cheetah. Get a little bit into our core. You're rounding through the spine, pulling the knee to your forehead. So really round through the spine, tuck it in. Exhale, sweep it back. We're gonna step our right foot all the way forward. You're gonna keep your left knee lifted this time if you can. Squeeze the inner thighs. When you're ready, you're reaching up for crescent lunge. Your core is tight. So you can bend your back knee a little bit if you need to. You can come all the way back to that low lunge where we just were. Over time, you'll be able to straighten it. You're still squeezing your inner thighs really, really tight, keeping your core tight. Take one more breath here. I'll keep my left knee bent. We're gonna bring our palms together. You're sending your left elbow to the outside of the right thigh. Squeeze the shoulder blades, open up the chest. Once you're here, maybe you can try straightening that left leg out a little more. If you feel good, you can fly your arms open. We're gonna bring our palms together. Lift the chest back up. Hands are coming to the floor. We're heel toeing our right foot over towards our left wrist. That right knee is lowering to the floor. We're gonna come into our half pigeon. We're gonna hold it. To start with, I want your left toes tucked under, left knee is lifted. Hands are in front of you, start to arch back. Lifting the chest. Now you lower the left knee, top of the left foot. Your upper body stays squared. You walk your hands forward, relax into this. You 
We are relaxing our shoulders. It doesn't mean you have to come any more forward. It means to try to let that tension go. This leg is completely relaxed. Our left leg, you're letting it be heavy. Your breath is focused to that right hip. That's where we're doing the work. So try to relax all the muscles in the face. Just breathe here. We're going to be here for a little bit of time again, getting into another yin posture. You guys don't have to do this every time you practice as long as we're going to do it today, but we are going to hold it for a while in this practice to really break down that right hip, get a little bit deeper, let it go a little more. Broken down and tired of living life on the merry go round. Let's take two more you breaths from our half pigeon. But I see it in you, so we can walk it out. Ooh. Start to walk the hands in, lifting the chest. We're gonna bring our hands back in front of that right shin. Pull the shoulder blades together, out. take a back bend, counter that stretch. We're lifting the chest. I want you to tuck your left toes back under. Lift the knee so our right foot can step back to our high plank. You can lower the knees right away if you need to. We're coming into that eight point. You lower the knees, the chin, the chest. Tops the feet on the floor, lift to cobra. Forehead goes down. Toes tuck under, come up. Exhale it back. Take another breath here. Push the hips up and back. Reach the inner thighs towards each other. Heels towards the floor. Left leg sweeps up. Three-legged dog. Find some space. So try to not have that knee bend. Extend it long. Reach it up. Find chi to round through the spine. Knee to forehead. Exhale. Sweep it back. Your left leg comes forward. Your right toe stay tucked under. Take a second. Squeeze the inner thigh. And it feels like it's getting hard to breathe. <laughs> and I know you feel like the inner thighs when you're ready, arms lift up. But I promise we <laughs> Pigeon feels take really good, so it's easy to want to go straight into it. This one is not as much fun. You can bend that right knee towards the floor if you need to. We're going to keep our chest lifted. Think about tucking the hip bones towards each other. Inner thighs are really tight. Palms come together. Our right elbow comes to the outside of the left thigh. Twist through the way. <laughs> Obviously, it's easy to lose your balance no matter how many times you've done this. Squeeze the inner thighs. We're going to lift the chest. Hands go to the floor. Now we're going to take it into that half pigeon. So heel toe that left foot over towards the right hand. Lower the left knee to the floor. Hands are in front of us. Our right toe stay tucked under. Right knee lifted. Hands in front. Arch back. Lifting the chest. Lowering the knee to the floor. Top of the foot. Start to walk forward. Settling into our half pigeon. Left side. we hold for a long time it can be sometimes again. harder to stay in than when we're moving through them fast. And we'll rise up. Keep forced to sit like with our breath, we'll our thoughts. We'll possibly a posture up. that doesn't maybe and feel that great for you right now. Allow your body the time. 
time it needs to get deeper into these. Start to walk the hands in, lift the chest. You're bringing your hands back in front of your left shin. You're keeping your lower back relaxed so you can take that counter back bend. I know you're out of my league. Lifting the chest, palms are planted. We tuck our right toes back under so we can lift the knee. You're sweeping your left leg back. We're gonna do our last flow. You lower the knees, the chin and the chest. Pop the feet are on the floor. You lift for cobra. Forehead goes down. Toes tuck under, lift up. Send it back, down dog. Take a breath. We're lowering our knees to the floor. Toes are gonna stay tucked under. We're coming into a variation of toe stand. You're walking your hands in. You're lifting the chest. So we want our chest lifted, shoulders relaxed. Shoulders Take over our hips, now, hips now. on our heels. If you need to, you can always use your hands you to scoop all of those fingers together in the same direction. Couple options with your arms. You can bring your arms together, grabbing for opposite elbows behind the back. You can bring your palms together towards the floor, or you can rotate your palms towards the ceiling. Settle in here. This is another yin posture. We're gonna be here for a little bit of time. It gets all of the muscles in the feet and the toes. We don't work them that often. So it can be a, a little bit of an uncomfortable experience the first time you come into this posture. Maybe to the 10th time you come into this posture, it still bothers you. I promise the more you do it, the more you work with it, it'll start to feel good. It'll start to release that tension. Keep the shoulders relaxed. Try to relax all of the muscles in the face. Maybe you close the eyes, focus on your breath. Take an inhale and sweep our arms up overhead. Our right hand is coming to the floor beside us. Stretch your left arm over. Allow your gaze to go towards the floor. Inhale, both arms come up. Exhale, the left hand down. Stretch the right arm over. Look towards the floor. Inhale, both arms up. We're exhaling the hands behind the back. Interlace the fingers. Squeeze the shoulder blades. Arch back. Lifting the chest, releasing the arms up so you can bring them out onto the floor in front of you. Untuck the toes, tap them out. Let that blood rush back into the feet. This should feel good. We're going to pause in the middle. We're going to transition to puppy. So this is another good posture. We're going to be again the rest of the hour. Let's start to walk our hands forward. You're walking your arms long, your stomach goes back towards the thighs, your hips stay lifted over the knees. Maybe you bring your chin on the floor. If that doesn't feel good today, rotate the forehead to your mouth. So this is lengthening that lower spine, allowing those discs to open up, allowing some space there. If your chin is on the ground, you're really opening up through the front of the chest and the neck. But if that doesn't feel good, we all have different range of motions in our neck. So the forehead on the ground, the chest might not touch, that's fine. 
You just want to keep your hips lifted. Over time, the stomach is going to get a little bit closer towards the thighs as you get a little more space, a little more flexibility there. We're breathing. Our chest is opening. Our shoulders are opening with our arms forward. We're getting all of this stretched out. We're going to be here for a little bit longer. I'm going to join back in with the last few breaths. It's been a while without your face And I saw your picture on the wall the other day Too much distance Let's take two space. more breaths where we are You need to come back home and run alone yeah. Slowly, because we've been in this for a little bit of time, we're walking our hands back into finding our tabletop. So allow your body some time to adjust here. We've been in a deep um, back bend. So allowing to come back into that neutral spine, we're gonna take one cat cow, we're gonna hold cat. So let's inhale into cow, just real quickly look up. And then exhale cat and really allow the head to be heavy. Shoulder blades are open, spine is towards the ceiling. Puffing the spine, relaxing the head, allowing the gaze towards the belly button. Breathing into this here. When it's right, then it's right. Start to find your neutral spine. We're going to shift towards the top of our mat. And then transition onto our seat. So once you're on the ground, you're going to take a light grip behind the thighs. You're rolling back. Just adjust my mic. Light grip behind the thighs, roll back. Head touches the floor. Your legs extend to the ceiling. for legs up the wall. Couple options. You can leave your arms by your side. If you want some extra support, shift your hands under your hips. If you feel really good here, you can always bring your arms overhead. Anytime we bring our, we bring our arms overhead, we're allowing our ribcage to expand more so we can get a little more air. It's totally normal for the toes to tingle here, for the legs to shake. Our muscles are still engaged to keep our legs suspended, even if we're not doing much. We're getting that blood flowing the opposite direction. We're starting to ignite our lymphatic system, boosting our immune system. This posture has so many awesome benefits. If you're at home and you're close to a wall, you can always do this. Allow the legs to be supported on the wall. Makes it a little more restorative. your arms are overhead or under your seat, let's go ahead and release them, pull the knees into the chest. Just hug the knees in, shift the weight a little bit side to side, allowing that blood to rush back into our toes. We're gonna move into a spinal twist, so let's keep our knees together. You're gonna move both knees to the right. 
So once you're there, your hips are going to be stacked. You can extend your left leg long if you want to. We're going to bring either our left arm out to the side. You can release both arms or you can leave your right hand on your thigh. Maybe you bring your arms into a field goal position. We're shifting the gaze over the left shoulder. That's more important. Trying to relax our shoulders back to the floor. Lengthening through our sides of the body and our spine as we find the spinal twist. Wringing the spine out like a washcloth. Maybe you close the eyes here. Use your breath. Utilize it. Think about your inhales setting you up. Think about your exhales taking you a little bit deeper. So you're inhaling and filling your body with oxygen with air. You exhale and you try to fill your body into that space where the air was to get this a little bit deeper. breaths on this side. You're going to shift the gaze back to the ceiling. Start to roll back onto the back. Hug the knees back into the chest. And then when you're ready, both knees are going to go to the left side of you. You might be able to see this a little better. You can extend that right leg straight. If it's available, you can always hold on to that foot with your left hand. We're going to shift the gaze over our right shoulder. Both arms can go long like a T. You can bring both arms to a field goal position. Gazing over your right shoulder. Finding that breath again. Taking those big inhales through the nose. Exhaling, allowing your body to relax a little bit deeper. last posture before we transition into our final savasana. So we're really trying to lower that heart rate all the way back down. Let's take two more breaths here. to shift the gaze back towards the ceiling. We're rolling back onto our back. You're hugging your knees into your chest. So this time we're going to take it a little bit deeper before we expand to Savasana. Try to wrap your arms all the way around so you can really pull the knees in. We're going to round our forehead up to our knees, rounding through the spine. So chin into the chest, forehead comes up. Trying to contract all of the muscles, getting just a little bit tighter. Shoulder blades pull together, shoulders away from the ears. And then as you exhale, you're releasing to the floor. So your arms go by your side, your shoulders are away from the ears. You extend your legs long. If you need to, you can separate the legs as wide apart as you want. Palms are open towards the ceiling. We're releasing the tension in our fingers. Just settling in here for a few breaths. Trying to relax every part of the body. Relaxing the muscles of the face. Clearing the mind. Just be still and breathe.
Let's start to deepen our inhales and our exhales as we bring more awareness back into our breath. Start to wake up the fingers, the toes, wiggling them around, getting into our ankles, our wrists. Waking up the arms, the legs, starting to get closer in towards our core, towards our heart. Let's reach our arms overhead, get into the sides of the body. Start to pull the knees into the chest. Once the knees are there, you're going to just shift your weight a little bit side to side, massage the spine. Do what feels best to you as you start to come back to more awareness of the body and the breath. Roll to whichever side you'd prefer. The shoulder that's towards the ceiling is just going to gently come in towards your chest. A few breaths here. Try to keep the eyes closed still if you can. We're going to close out class where we started. So using that same arm, press the palm to the floor so you can lift their chest up. Transitioning back onto a seated position, middle of the mat. Finding either cross leg, half lotus, hero. Finding our tall, neutral spine. Shoulders relaxed away from the ears. Tops the hands on the knees. Let's take a few more breaths all together. If you guys are watching this at home. I hope you enjoyed the practice. If you have any questions for us, leave them in the comments below. You can always send us a direct message on Instagram, Facebook, call us, email us. If you're doing this in the morning, I hope you have an awesome rest of your day. If you're doing this before bed, I hope it helps you relax a little bit, sleep better. Let's take a big inhale, sweep our arms up. Fill the lungs. Palms come together, you're exhaling your hands to your heart center, right in front of the chest. Let's bow our chin into our chest a little bit. I hope you have an awesome day. Thank you for moving with us, sweating with us. Hope to see you on your mat again soon. Namaste.